Hi, and welcome to my playthrough of Quake 2's 2023 remaster, played on the Nightmare difficulty. And this is Unit 1, Base, Outer Base. The head of SETI will give a full press conference today in the wake of the verified and authentic non-terrestrial transmission coming from just beyond the asteroid belt in our solar system. Contact with the colony of the Mars will be re-established, and have nothing to do with the impending arrival of the mysterious aliens. The McCulloch Space Station just been destroyed. And the UN president gave a conflicting farewell speech as these brave soldiers took the fight to the Strode's home planet. We, the rest of humanity, wish them luck and Godspeed as well. Yeah, we're back at it again. And one thing I noticed straight off the bat is that the um, HUD has changed a little bit. The computer thing doesn't say F1 anymore, and I think it dismisses itself, which is very helpful. Anyway, I'm on Nightmare this time, really step stepping up my game. 19 kills, 3 secrets, 1 goals. One thing they noticed straight away compared to the original is that the background is actually blurred. When you view this, which is very nice, that was something that the I think the first game game couldn't really do the original 1997 game. That's very nice, and it's all 4K, so gorgeous, not all crunchy <laughs> and choppy as well. So yeah, I'm very happy that this got released. I know you can always play at 4K, the original game, not this re-release. And yep, here we go, it's controls and that, but it looks much nicer. I like the bloom, I like the blur on this as well. That wasn't a secret, by the way. I think the secrets are elsewhere. But yeah, I also love this as well. Anyway, there has been some changes to the HUD. I think this is different. If you look to the original um, videos, it is different. And also, you can change the color of your crosshair as well, which is nice because... I don't know. 
felt like it. But anyway, same old, same old. Nothing's different, as far as I'm aware, other than the health packs are now green. They have a green cross instead of a red cross because of, well, legal reasons. And also one thing I want to show is that I think, not tab, I think it's Q. There's a compass feature now. I didn't, I wasn't aware about this, but I don't think it's a thing in the original game, but it is in this game, which is very nice. Yeah, I think got a weapon wheel as well, if I believe. Is it E? Yeah, there we go. Weapon reel. I'm going to show that you do get a shotgun, so you can actually use it if you feel like it. Lots of quality of life improvements, which I love. I love the compass the most, because I have been lost in the original game a few times from those recordings, from not, you know, having a compass. So it's very nice that they included that. I'm actually very happy. So I think that'll get more people playing the game, adding a, adding a compass. Anyway, first secret, by the way, grenades, armor shards, simple as. And I think the second secret's a silencer under the stairs. But anyway, as I was saying, so I'm very happy that they did include quite a lot of quality of life improvements to this game. So I think it definitely did need them. Especially that compass, because again, you don't have a map, keep in mind. So yeah, and this game is actually quite complex. So here's a silencer. I know I'm all over the place because I don't know what to say because there's quite a lot to say. Just within the first, like, five minutes. Done it. Stupid guys. The lasers. Still keep firing them when they're dead. I like that. They kept that. That's good. Come on. But yeah. They're trying to be as faithful as they can. I know that the green cross instead of red cross is with legal reasons because, you know, Red Cross Foundation don't like that, whatever they're called. But yeah. The Red Cross don't like, you know, being depicted in games, so that's a bit of a shame. But at least you could change the crosshair so it's pink. I don't think you do that in the original game. As far as I'm aware, but you can do it in this remake, which I like. And it more stim packs over there. I want to get that. Just because I can. It's not a secret, by the way. I think I only got two secrets. I think the first one was the um, grenades in that little cavity in there. And the second one was, well, the silencer underneath the stairs. Let me check. F1. Still F1, I like that. Secrets, two, three, okay. I'm making good progress. Anyway, got the Gatling gun dudes. I can't remember what they're called now, unfortunately. <laughs> I haven't played the game in so long. I'm very sorry about that. I know that the guys with the um, shields, not the shields, the masks that fire, that got green clothes on, that fire the laser and the shotgun. I think they're just called grunts, from what I remember. But yeah. Anyway, I think there's another guy around here. Where is he, I think? Oh, there he is. They're lethal and nightmare as far as I'm aware. I don't remember them being any easier on hard, or that easier. But then again, I'm playing on nightmare, which is much harder. Anyway, the last secret should be this button right here. And I think that is all the secrets. I think all the kills as well. Let me check. Yeah, that's all the secrets and kills. I just need to get to the lift, and I think that's that. And also, the flies are still here. That's my favorite thing. Not even I question this, but how come we're in, like, somewhere on this planet, remote planet in our space or whatever, but yet there's, like, flies here? <laughs> oh, wait, the corpse react? I don't remember that being a thing in the original game. When you shoot, the corpse react, the corpses react to the gunfires. I don't remember that being a thing in the original game. There are quite a lot of changes in this, and well, I know they might have been included in like the later releases or whatever. I just played the 19 1997 release, as you can see on my channel. But yes, just got to go in this lift and that's that. Easy. All right, so that was Quake 2, the remaster, by the way, the 2013 remaster, Unit 1 Base Outer Based. It's funny because when I was re-watching the, my original video done back in 2021, that was two years ago, by the way, I didn't realize how crunchy the gameplay is, so it feels a really nice it feels like a nice breath of fresh air that I could play this in 4K and it's not all crunchy at like, <laughs> what was the resolution again? 800 by 400 <laughs> resolution. <laughs> mm, I sure love playing my games like that. And also, there was quite a lot of screen tearing in those videos as well. I don't know how to fix that. I should try and look into that. But at least there's no screen tearing in this gameplay and it's at nice 4K resolution. So that's nice. And I am very happy about the quality of life improvements with the compass at that. That's definitely going to help new players. I know that for a fact because I, as I said before, I have a tendency to get lost in that game because especially when I first played it, you just don't know where to go. The game isn't particularly helpful. Like sometimes you just got to go into a vent, which you'll find later. But anyway, that was Unit 1 Base Outer Base. See you in the 
the next part, which is Unit 1 Base Installation Part 1. So I guess, see you then.